Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mary Lou from the Rosefield and my sister Molly. Hi, Fiber friends. Who is better known as Boss Baby. But anyways, I digress. Um, we're here. We're to digressing already. We're yeah. in trouble. Yeah. Anyways, we're here to um, inform you, I guess, or invite you to our waffle sale on Sunday, February the 28th at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Yep. And we are we will be coming to you via a watch party. Yes, because down here on the farm, the internet is nil. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can try, but you guys get very bored with us freezing all the time. But anyways, um, yes, yeah, so it will be coming by via a watch party. But um, we are located, we are a farm, we are a fiber farm. We are located in the southwest corner of Pennsylvania. We are basically a stone throw from West Virginia. Um, we're in that corner of Pennsylvania. And we have been, we bought the farm, my husband and I bought the farm in 1983. And since 1985, I have been a shepherd to um, various breeds of sheep. And we have finally settled on um, probably I would consider the love of my life, which is the Lester Long Wolves and the Shetlands, which both breeds are shaving to save them eligible. But um, we'll have more of that on the day of the sale. So what other things did you want to talk about, Molly? Well, so I started helping after Mary Lou's husband passed away in 2011. 11. Yep. Um, has it been that? <laughs> is, right. Or is, or is that... All that it's been is <laughs> almost 10 years almost now. Almost 10 years. Well, it won't be 10 years out. till September. I so. know. I know. Yeah. So anyway, I started, I started helping out down here at the farm. Um, I live about 45 minutes away. So um, after Mary Lou's husband passed away, I started coming down. And then she got me to start going along on the fiber shows. And then um, between the two of us... Um, she taught me how to knit when I was little. I learned how to crochet. Now I'm learning how to spin, thanks to the Waffa group. Um, but Mary Lou spins and does all kinds of fiber um, arts, fiber arts uh, weaving and knitting and everything. That was and done mainly out of um, the fact that I was selling. You can, I don't believe that you can sell a product to someone if you don't know what they're going to use it for. And it made me, as a shepherdess, more aware of taking care of my fiber on the animal so that when you get the product, it's very usable. It is very user-friendly because of the fact that we have taken care of it for a year, basically, as it's out there in the field growing, which is another part of the aspect of our farm. Right. You know, right. our farm is our yarn, our roving, um... The just even raw fleece is all produced right here on the farm. Right. It's all farm raised. Um, and then we, um, you know, we do have a shearer come in and shear and then we start washing. And, yeah. and then we dye the fleece before it goes to the mill. So we pretty much touch it every step of the way. And, um, you know, I always go back to that old saying, garbage in, garbage out. You know, this way we know how the animal was fed, you know, what they were fed, um, how the, how the fiber was, fed. How, how the fiber was processed. Um, so yeah, we don't use any, any acids in the um, washing process. It's all done very gently, um, which, again, produces a very fine end product for the, the fiber artist. So, um, again, our sale will be Sunday, February 28th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're going to talk more about the fiber. We're going to talk more about our homemade lotion, soap, and lip balm, which is, um, this is the perfect time of the year to be oh. talking about that because everybody, you know, complains about once the furnaces come on and the dry um, yeah, we had not like this record temperatures of um, the last 70 years. As, it hasn't been like this. As, so. as we speak, it's, you know, we're expecting another storm. We have, uh, Mary Lou has two dogs here, and one of them is, is um, about 30. She's 35 pounds. 35 pounds. 
um, and not her pit bull. her belly is in the snow out there. She just hates and she hates the cold. Uh, <laughs> she has a little coat that she wears, but you know when your belly's in the snow, um, coat doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, that coat isn't helping much. But um, yeah, we haven't had snow like this in a long time, so yeah. it's always yeah. fun to. The wander. only the only thing is that the water table. It's going to oh, yeah. be fantastic oh, yeah. because last year when we were washing wool, yeah, we drained one of the wells. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, so go figure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that part of it is I could, good. I could say something else that it really, um, but I, I don't want to say that. Um, anyway, all right. So, after the camera's done, yeah, after the camera is done, um, we'll I'll make that comment in, okay. in private. And um, yeah, so hopefully you'll check us out, and um, we'll we'll talk to you then. Hope to, hope to see you and hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Stay warm. Thank you. Bye.